so it's daytime I'm still gonna try to show you a little bit of why I'm changing these bulbs if I turn turn the lights on you can't even see them see no lights we're gonna try to fix that by adding these new LED blue lights from Mars Auto. And if you want them, I'll put a link in the description below so you can order them for your instrument cluster. Hey, good morning everybody and welcome back to the channel. Today I'm gonna be working on my 2005 Dodge Caravan. I'm replacing the bulbs in the instrument cluster because they just don't work half of them don't work and they're just not bright enough for me to see the instrument panels at night so I'm gonna change those appreciate you hanging out with me so let's get into this and tackle this and take this instrument cluster out and change these bulbs now a couple of things that I'm gonna do first is I put the steering wheel down as far as it'll go so I can get in here and work the other thing is is I turn this wheel right here all the way down to the bottom so that my dome lights don't come on while I'm working. Yep, just like that. So now we can start taking this thing apart. First off, we're going to take this piece off. And it just comes right out like that pretty easy. So I just lift it up on it and it comes out. Okay. Now... There's two screws in here. There's one right here. And there's one over here. And then we're going to take this plastic piece out. So let me get to that. And there's number two. So now we gotta take this off. Ouch. Looks like there's two more down here at the bottom. I think that's got to come out, and I think that one over there's got to come out. So let me see if I can get those out. Now let's see if it comes out any easier. Oh, look at that. Now it's loose. Loose as a goose. Mm -hmm. Now I think I'm going to have to pull this down out of the way to shift her. So we can get this out of here. This is the part they don't show you on the other videos. And that comes out. Now I can put it back in park and turn the key off so we don't have to listen to that racket. There you go. So now, let's see, we got some screws here. Let's see. Yeah, I got a screw there. So we got some screws here. We got one there, one down there, one over here, and one down there. I'm going to get just a regular Phillips screwdriver for that. Uh, well, let me see. Is my screw going to reach in there? 
don't think it will, I don't think it will, I don't think it will. I don't think I can reach it with that. But I did. I got one out with a screw gun. Let's see if we can get to the other one. that one out and I dropped it. I got it too. Let's see. Now let's see. Yeah I still think there's one down in the bottom there and there's one over there. I'm gonna get a screwdriver for that before I break something. I got my trusty old craftsman screwdriver here. Let's see. That reaches in there just fine down there. Taking that loose. And then we got one more over there in the bottom. Down here. See if I can tip it forward because I got a wiring harness here I've got to unplug. So now I'm gonna unplug this wiring harness right here. So I'm gonna pull that up. So I got the plug unplugged, it just unplugs from out there. Now I'm gonna pull this cluster out. Okay, now I'm going to lay it here on my workbench, which is my seat. <laughs> We're going to change all these. we got to pull all these out. So we got one, two, three, four, five, six bulbs. Um, I don't think I need to take this cover off, but I might take it off just to see if there's any other bulbs back there, but... I don't think so. Anyway, we're gonna change these bulbs, so let's get to that. Now these are the bulbs again that I'm gonna change. And the way you get these out, I was told you just twist them. pull them out and you know what I don't think that's gonna work and these will not work with this cluster look at that they won't work don't think they'll work they won't even go in the hole they definitely will not work it's not the same so now I gotta find the right bulbs. So now, just so you know, the minivan has what they call a mini bulb. So these regular bulbs, which I looked up on the chart on their website, and that's what they sent me. But that's not gonna work. These will not, a standard bulb will not work in the Chrysler or Dodge minivan. So now I gotta find some of these. Okay, so now I think I've got the right bulbs this time. LED bulbs. This is the bulb that comes out. Hope you can see it, that's the bulb that comes out. These are the bulbs going back in. 
but I can't get this bulb out of here so they send you these are the little pieces that you put the bulb into put the bulb in and then you put them in here you know take these out Then you just line this up with the holes there and twist it back just a little bit and it's in and that's it. I'll try to do a little close up. Let me try to take one of these out. And in like that. Now let's just see if I can get a close up here. I don't have the best camera. Sorry. And in this hole here, you have to line up these little nubs right here. Take my needle nose pliers, just kind of put it in there. There it goes. And turn it about just a quarter of a turn, just a little bit. You don't turn it very much. take very long to do. <coughs> and this is the last one. And that's it. So now we got to put this back in the van. Now I hope you can see this. I'm just going to put it back in the way I took it out. So you just sneak this right in here. And you got to plug in this plug. You can see that. Can you see that? Just snap it right in right there. I'm going to push that red button back down. That locks it in place. Now we're going to put it back in place. Put the screws back in it. This might take a minute.
Uh, too bad you guys can't see it. But when it gets dark, when it gets dark, I'm going to turn them on and show them to you. But they are working. <laughs> so let me get the other parts and finish putting this together. I always keep my little extra vitamin bottles so I can put my screws and stuff in them. Use my little handy screwdriver here to put these in. And then last but not least, this little cover. Just like that. And we are all finished. We got our nice new blue lights in there. And when it gets dark, I'm going to turn them on and show them to you. So stick around. I'll be right back in about six hours when it gets dark. <laughs> okay, so there it is. The blue lights, it's nice and bright. I can see everything that's cool. Before I had no lights. I had in the center, right here, I had lights. But I didn't have no lights on the fuel gauge. I didn't have any lights over on the temperature gauge or the gear selector. So it's looking pretty good. Let me see if I can turn them up. Okay, that's as bright as they get. Yeah, they get bright. They get brighter. That's pretty good. All right. I can see that good. All right. Well, I appreciate you guys uh, hanging in there with me on my uh, cluster light replacement. And yeah, there are different sizes. So you got if you have a minivan, you got to get the mini lights. So give me a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, and make your comments and questions below or whatever. You guys have a fantastic day, and I have another video for you soon. You guys have a fantastic day. This is Harold signing off, baby. 
<laughs> Got me some blue dash lights. 